In this video we're going to look at the best practice for the installation, operation and maintenance of butterfly valves. You can find further information and specs on the Waterworks butterfly valves in the specification video and downloadable brochure on our website. Firstly, let's look at storage and handling. Store the valves indoors in a clean and dry place. Corrosion that occurs during storage will significantly reduce the lifespan of the valve. High temperature and direct sunlight will also shorten the service life of the rubber liner. Optimal storage condition is in covered pallets with a temperature of 5 to 20 degrees C. Butterfly valves should be stored with the disc slightly open to prevent permanent disc setting deformation. Take care when lifting the valves and avoid lifting the valve by the handle or if you have a gear operator, hand wheel or actuator. Rather lift as shown in this diagram here. Always consider the centre of gravity, prevent tilting and rotational forces. Some other points to consider to prevent damage to the butterfly valves are Number one, be careful to avoid damage to the disc edge. The disc edges are hand polished and can be very easily scratched. Scratching could lead to a leak at the position of the scratch. Number two, be careful to avoid damage to the rubber liner. A sharp object could damage the sealing surface inside the valve or on the flange. Again, this could be a cause for leaking. Number three, take care when mounting a lever, gearbox or actuator onto the valve. Excessive force directly onto the valve stem could cause a permanent imprint in the rubber liner, which not only could cause failure, but also making the valve difficult to operate. Moving on to installation. Firstly, remember the rubber liner provides the seal on the flange face. You don't need to use an additional flange gasket as these will prevent proper sealing on the flange face. Step one, check the valve identification tab to make sure the pressure and valve materials are correct for the application. Step number two, Check the sealing surface on the counter flanges. These surfaces must be free of burrs, radial grooves, welding spots, dirt or oil and any sharp objects. Step number three, make sure the pipeline has sufficient support in order to prevent vibrations and weight loading from damaging the valve. Step four, make sure you have alignment in the pipework. When the valve is installed between two flanges, these must be completely aligned. Misalignment may result in stress on the valve during operation, which may eventually lead to a fracture. It is important to remove as much tension on the valve as possible. Step 5. Make sure the flange and valve sealing faces are clean from any debris. Step 6. Spread the flanges enough to allow the butterfly valve to fit in with a partially open disc. It is recommended when installing a butterfly valve that is installed with the disc open 5 to 10 degrees. Butterfly valves can be installed in any orientation within a horizontal or vertical pipeline. However, in general, it is recommended where possible the valves are installed with the stem in a horizontal position. Ensure particularly large sized butterfly valves are well supported during and after the installation. Step number seven. Once you have the valve positioned between the two flanges, fix the valve in position with the bolts without tightening them. Open the valve disc fully to the open position and make sure it won't conflict with the pipework. Step eight. Tighten each bolt crosswise. Tightening opposite bolts as shown in this diagram. Maximum bolt torque settings are shown here. Step 9. Once the valve has been installed and not in operation, it is recommended to keep the valve disc in a slightly open position. Let's now look at maintenance. The Waterworks Butterfly valves are designed to be maintenance free. But to guarantee the function it is important that the valve be in regular use to avoid discs sticking in the valve seat. Ideal frequency of use is once per week. 
If the valve is removed from the pipeline for any reason, you should inspect it before reinstallation. Check the valve seat and the disc for any damage. If damage is identified, a replacement may be necessary. If you're removing the valve from the system, ensure you have drained and depressurized the pipework on both sides of the valve. When removing the valve, ensure the disc is again partially opened 5 to 10 degrees before removing the valve. If you're removing an automatic actuator, ensure the operating system has been depressurized or deactivated. When reinstalling the valve, follow the installation procedures we've outlined in this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, reach out to our team. We are here to help.